What's up, DC? Finally wrapping up a Saturday night of football here. Miami at Buffalo. Nobody knows what's happening with the weather at Orchard Park. Buffalo minus seven, over under 43 and a half, went down to 42 and a half, got bought back. I mean, it's it's Orchard Park. We don't really know what's going to happen with the weather. They think there's snow. There might not be snow. I do know that Mike White threw for 268 yards versus this defense uh, while getting pounded into the ground with wind, with rain. So even in game script, as Miami is a seven-point dog here, there's certainly some value in the passing props, uh, the pass, the passing market, sorry, for Miami, I think. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think Tyreek Hill in particular looks looks pretty interesting here. Yeah, and we're also probably buying the dip after Tua completed just 10 passes last Sunday night, yeah. especially in a primetime game that most better see. So Tyreek Hill, back on Tyreek Hill, over six and a half receptions, plus 125. This is a lean. There are some five and a halves out there, but you like the value on the six and a half. I do. The, the five and a halves are, are pretty heavy, pretty heavy juice on them. So the projection is over both of them anyway. The Blitz is projecting 7.3. So I'll take the over six and a half at plus 125 with that projection. Yeah, coming off what would be considered a down game, but we're getting a better price here week to week. But Tyreek Hill still had a 42% target share and is only one of three wide receivers in all of football to have at least a 30% target share in football. Yeah, exactly. And and we've seen this here. This is a really good offense. Two is a really good quarterback. I'm not overreacting to one week. I, I think we should expect them to bounce back here, and we're getting a good price for it. Yeah, we saw Mike McDaniel. Obviously, he'll make adjustments this week after Brandon Staley kind of uh, boxed out that offense on primetime Sunday night football. Sean McDermott liked to copycat it, but Mike McDaniel will probably make the adjustments. 31.5% target share on the season. That's nuts. But teams have been able to pass against Buffalo recently. Like I said, Mike White, Jacoby Brissett, Kirk Cousins, Kenny Pickett. The Brissett game was indoors. But, I mean, even those four guys, they've averaged 30 completions versus his defense in four of the last five games that Buffalo has been home. 319 passing yards. So it's not going to be another dud. It's not going to be another 10 completion performance from Tua. That's that's absurd, and I think that the weather's being over-evaluated as it tends to do with games in Orchard Park. Yeah, the thing about weather is it can change. You know, when you're this far out from a game, people love to react to the weather reports, but we don't really know what it is yet. If there is snow, yeah, it's going to hurt the passing. But, you know, this is still a good offense. It's still a high target share. I, I still think this is a play regardless. From what I'm seeing from windy.com that there are breaks of of no snow. There's snow heading into Friday night, which could be a base, but it doesn't look like a ton of snows in the forecast. But like you said, that can change. And again, because of that total going bought down from 43 and a half to 42 to being bought back to 44, right now betters aren't so sure about the weather. So that's even giving us some value, I think, in these markets that are being projected, I think, a little too low because of the market. Uh, yeah, sorry, because for, of the weather. For, for what it's worth, the Blitz is projecting snow at the moment in this game, and it still likes it. If there were to not be snow, it would like it even more. That, that's, that's a great point. So Tyreek Hill, over six and a half receptions, plus 125. That's at bet 365. That's a strong lean. Let's do this and wrap up a great Saturday of football. I'm Josh Ingles. He's Derek Hardy. These are his Blitz projections. Here it covers Let's go Saturday night. Let's put some money in our pocket. Thanks for hanging out, DC. We'll see you back here for Sunday night football.